Satan! Now is the time! Oh, you will see. It feels like the tie is rubbing itself against your chest, like a cat in heat. Faster, spirits! The blue medicinal spirits! Grab the bottle and uncork it! It is time to unleash the other world! Hush, hush, Bratan! Now is not the time to celebrate! Now is the time to get ready! Trust me on this! This is what it's all been building towards! It's gonna be off the hook! Off all hooks! The bottle opens with a silent, mysterious hiss. The fumes rising from its mouth are as crisp as the northern winds. Howling somewhere, lashing the boardwalk with brine and rain. An ancient warmth crawls under your skin. Now, Bratan, take me off! Bratan, have I ever lied to you? Just take me off! Your fingers manage to undo the oily knot and the necktie slides off. It looks so frail sitting there in your hand, weighing almost nothing. Now, put me in the bottle! Trust me! Just trust me! You and I are gonna have so much fun it should be illegal! Just put me in the bottle, Bratan! I'm not gonna let you down! You and I are like the same person! As the necktie slides into the purifying liquid, large stains of grease rise off from it and float to the surface. There, they quickly dissolve and disappear completely. Cleansed by the blue spirit fire of 98.7% pure alcohol, the fabric looks almost new again, no longer like a disgusting worm of the lower intestine, but like a colorful and deadly poisonous reef snake of the Insulindian Ocean. The necktie floats in the bluish liquid with almost unearthly grace. It's like an organic sample brought back from a distant star system inhabited by sentient neckwear. There is silence. The lieutenant has been observing you quietly all this time. He's struggling to keep silent, but finally seems to give up. I've got to ask, what are you doing? As always, lie. Of course it has. And what has the necktie been telling you, if I may ask? Okay, so why did you put it in the bottle? Right, okay. Anyway, I'm glad you told me your necktie has been speaking to you. That must not have been easy. We're all under stress. This is turning into a great big mess. I'm not judging. Just keep it together. Let's go. With a crash of shattering glass and a terrible roar, the fire draws in oxygen. The bomb hits the mercenary in the chest, swallowing him in flames as he staggers backward. In the fiery inferno, you'll see your tie coiling around the man's neck. It is no longer horrific, but beautiful and pure. I only ever wanted you to have fun, Harry. It calls out to you. One last time. My name, should you know it, is Jobson AS Men's Fashion Model Colorful Tie, catalog number J327. One day a sad man walked into a clothing store. He looked really down, like he hadn't had fun in years. He needed someone to show him how to rock and roll again. Jobson AS catalog number J327 shone on the tie rack, trying to get his attention. The sad man picked it up and put it on. He looked at himself in the mirror, didn't smile. And from that moment on, we rode together. The rest of your clothes were still normal back then, but we took care of that soon enough. Normal police officer clothes just don't go well with a multi-pattern disco tie made of 98.7% pure flammable polyester. Truthfully, not a lot. I did everything a multi-pattern necktie can do to help a man. I mean, I tried to get you to do all the fun things. Drink beer, drink wine, drink cider. Go to parties with young people around and drink beer and cider. Do drugs too, so you don't fall asleep. You had 
some fun, but not enough to heal you. Your heart is broken, Bratushka, and it cannot be mended. Believe me, I've tried. No, you're going to be mowed down by gunfire from the two remaining marks. So no, not forever. You both did, Bratan. Deep down, you know it was both of you. No, no. It was her, mostly. Don't lie to him, Niktai. This guy, well, his face has cracked open into a scream of terror. It looks like he's performing some sort of a shamanistic dance that requires you to be on fire. Yeah, his body contorts in a very disturbing manner. There's no mincing words with this one. He's dying a horrible, painful death as you're talking to your tie in your head. Smells like a steak on the grill, the burning flesh in your nostrils. It's good to see you still have capacity for compassion, my friend. Deep down, you are a good man. See you on the other side. The necktie disintegrates into molten heat, its last remaining embers letting out a pop and crack that sounds like... Harry, for God's sake! Watch out! Bratan! Now is the time! Bratan! Don't push me away! I want to be there for you! Also, how can you be sure you are not just a figment of my imagination? But Bratan, I... I understand. The tie loosens around your neck. I just wanted you to have fun. I... I never meant to be a burden. No, Bratan! No need for that! You and I are Bratanoi! Brothers! Brothers fight! But when they're done fighting, you know what they do? They party! They fucking party! First the spirits! The blue medicinal spirits! Grab the bottle and uncork it! It is time to unleash the other- The lieutenant is struggling to keep silent. I've got to ask, what are you doing? As always, lie. All right, I won't ask again. You throw the bomb and it's way off. It's a fiasco, Bratan! <laughs> Even at this distance, you can still make out the ugly tie suspended in blue liquid. It looks extremely worried. Wow, you threw it far. Great throw. Too bad the goal was to throw it a very short distance. And now everyone will die. Don't thank me. You did this. What's going to happen now? Everyone's going to die. What do you think's going to happen? What? You were a sad drunk who bought an ugly tie. Who gives a shit? Everyone is going to die because our plan failed. I have no idea how you're going to get out of this. No idea. No, it's off. Way off. I told you. This is it! I'm going to hit the ground and burn away now! Most of the people in this yard are going to die, if not all! Probably you too! It's a complete disaster! Get ready for a world of pain, man. No, not a disaster. Weave this into the story of you. Walk out of its ruins. Save those who still can be saved. I'm on your side. And the lieutenant, too. And the men behind your back, drawing their weapons. You can live. You can get out of this. I bet you are! The fiery container hurtles toward the earth with a last wink of light. It shatters to a thousand pieces. Around you, time starts moving again. The sounds of violence and panic. <laughs>